Avant de commencer la vidéo sur les drones d'attaque de la Turquie, nous voulons d'abord vous présenter un mini drone incroyable, un drone équipé d'une mitrailleuse. L'idée peut paraître évidente, mais il faut savoir que seule la Turquie a été capable de le faire. Les États-Unis avouent ne pas y arriver malgré plusieurs projets qui ont tous échoué. La difficulté vient du fait que la mitrailleuse devient instable au moment du tir. Nous allons laisser un Américain le présenter, et veuillez remarquer les craintes hilarantes qu'il va avoir sur cette technologie qui va changer les guerres dans le futur. When the term machine gun enters common parlance, the word machine becomes much more sinister. Turkey will become the first country in the world to deploy military drones equipped with high-precision machine guns. Asusgard, a technology company out of Ankara, Turkey, has developed the new Songar armed drone system, which it says will start shipping later this month. The drone can carry 200 rounds of 5.56x45mm NATO-class ammunition, contained within an easily replaceable box magazine. It can shoot a 15cm square target up to 200 meters away using one of three modes – single shot, 15 round burst, or 200 round serial shooting mode. To achieve this accuracy, it uses a series of sensors to calculate the wind speed, angle, and distance of the target, while adjusting the angle of the gun in real time to maintain accuracy and minimize the effects of recoil. According to the catalog, the drone has an operational range of up to 10 kilometers, weighs 25 kilograms, including ammunition, and can reach heights of up to 2,800 meters. The Songar is controlled by a remote human operator using a remote control. It has two cameras, a pilot camera with 10 times zoom, and a barrel camera, both with real-time image transfer. The operator selects the target by placing the crosshairs over it, and then presses the fire button to unleash a rain of hell fury. The drone can be flown in groups of three, firing simultaneously at the same target. Night vision sensors allow for nighttime operations, and there's also an onboard GPS and image data recording for damage assessment after the shooting. There's no doubt that this machine is a killer. If it gets into the wrong hands, or even if it's in the right hands, it could be used as a powerful tool of violence and oppression by corrupt governments or terrorist organizations. Last year, thousands of organizations, as well as individual scientists, engineers, researchers, and entrepreneurs, signed the Lethal Autonomous Weapons Pledge, organized by the Future of Life Institute. In it, they promise not to develop autonomous weaponry that is capable of making life-taking decisions. In the pledge, it states, the decision the decision to take a human life should never be delegated to a machine. There is a moral component to this position that we should not allow machines to make life-taking decisions for which others, or nobody, will be culpable. Although technically, the Songar armed drone is not autonomous in that it requires a human operator to decide when to shoot, it's only a matter of time before the military decide that the drone should be taken one step further and be allowed to shoot by itself in certain circumstances. For example, the operator is under fire or has been injured. Either way, this machine is a dangerous development, and I imagine it won't be long before we have these things flying around our urban skies under the pretense of keeping us safe. 